Good morning, beautiful people. I am up and rolling. Of course, for hours now. I'm loving it. I really do. I love it. I love to get up early. It gives me time for myself. It gives me time to be to be grateful, to show my gratitude for another beautiful, glorious day. And it gives me time to pray and to show how thankful I am for each and every day. I just love it. I really do. And now they're saying Monday the gyms are supposed to open back up here in Texas. And it's supposed to be 25% capacity of what it previously was. I don't think I'm going to go, like, right away. I'm going to give this a while longer because so far we've had 47,000 positive COVID-19 cases. So I think I'm going to give it a little while longer. A little while longer. And deciding what I'm going to do. Because... I don't want to take a chance, not for my own health, but for my husband too, because he has a lot of illnesses, and due to that, I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm. and I think he might be having a seizure or a stroke that's fixing to happen. Let me explain why. When he's leading up to one, like, days in advance, he can go sometimes a week, two weeks, before he'll have one. But I always try to watch the signs for it. And what is making me think that he might have one is he has two cats. He has a Bengal and a Himalayan. Now, his bangle will come sleep with me when he's fixing to have one. I don't know. Maybe it's just the brain waves and everything. And cats and dogs are more sensitive to that. And um, his bangle will come sleep with me, which kind of shocks me because this bangle does not like me, period, for any reason. Other than when... My husband's fixing to lead up to either a seizure or a stroke. Now, he's been sleeping with me for the past two nights. If he does it tonight, then I know he's about ready to have one. Well, my husband's Himalayan gets very clingy to him. And, which he already is, but he won't leave his side. He's like a little guard cat. I guess, and especially my dog. Now, granted, I adopted her from my local shelter, and people never shop, always adopt. Save my life. That's how I feel about it. And she has never been trained to detect his seizures or his strokes. And when he has one, she'll come and alert me that he's had one. If it's a seizure, she'll alert me and then quickly run back to him and give him kisses all day long, all over his face and everything. Like her kisses make everything better. And then when they, oh, KPD, one of Colleen's finest, doing their patrols. Thank goodness. But, um, when he has a stroke, she won't leave his side. Even to alert me, she won't do it. She'll cling to him. I mean, she'll lay right there next to him the entire time. And nudge up against him real close. She won't leave his side. And I told my husband, if he ever has another one, cross my fingers that he doesn't. But if he does, 
I'm going to videotape it to show him what she does at the time that he has a stroke. So that way he's made aware of it. Now, like I said, my dog has not ever been trained for this. Ever. When I adopted her, my husband wanted a smaller dog. And I understand why, because he has PTSD. I understand that. But something just told me to get her. Now, granted, she is a cattle dog. It's a real pain in the butt. Having a cattle dog. Because they want to herd everything. And she'll do this on a daily basis, multiple times throughout the day. She'll try to herd my husband's cat into the corner. Well, that doesn't work out too well. Especially with the Bengal, because he'll come out swinging at her. <sighs> But, for some reason, my intuition kicked in, and I had to get her. I had to. I just knew that she was the dog. Not so much for me. Maybe for my husband. But I just knew that I had to get her. And I'm grateful that I did. Because the past two nights, she has been stuck to his side. So my husband is like, why is she looking at me like that? Like, I, I can't explain the look that she's giving him. But she's giving him that look like, I'm not leaving your side. I'm not going to do it. So... I don't know how to explain it. The, the look that she's giving him. So the past two nights, my husband... Because we do not allow the dogs up in the bedroom. Just don't. So my husband is like, Do I sleep out here on the sofa? Because the look that she's giving me. And last night when he was on the sofa, I mean, she was right there on the floor next to him. While he's sitting on the sofa. And I'm like, oh, you might want to. I said, even though you feel okay, I think you're okay. But obviously she's picking up on something. Now, to all the people out there that have one form of disability or another. And you might have multiple forms of disability. Look into adopting a pet. I know it calls for a lot of work in having a pet, but I think it's good. Because with my husband having his service dog, which is a Karen Terrier, a small little dog, like Toto, from the movie Wizard of Oz, his dog is 16 years old now. But I think it's good that my husband has a dog. That way he's able to get up out of the house, take his dog for a walk, let him do what he needs to. Or if my husband's having a meltdown, he's able to hold his dog and just cry and, you know, whatever he needs to do to release how can I say this? The anger, the the hostility that he's feeling at the moment from his PTSD. Now, granted, my husband's dog is 16 years old. And we're hoping for another two years with his dog. We're hoping for it. May not be that long. It could be longer, you know, that we have with his dog. But... With my husband having a total of four strokes now, 
His dog wasn't able to detect that, but my dog was. And like I said, she's never been trained for that. Not ever. But she's able to alert me when it happens, when he has his seizures. But his strokes, she doesn't alert me to it, but she will stick by his side. She's not leaving his side. That's She's already proven that. So, look into adopting, adopting a dog. Or even a cat. So that way you can, number one, save a life. And number two, they can help you. And especially during these trying times right now. With it being so, you know what? For the companionship. And like I said, if you have multiple or even just one disability. This cat or dog will help you out. And animals don't forget that they were within a place that they can possibly never come out alive. And you end up saving them from that situation. And I absolutely do believe that they remember that. And that they will forever be grateful to you for it. You'll come back now, you hear. <laughs>